Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out this thing, which is called the Swamp Cat, and uh, it's a really interesting vehicle, because, you might notice, we are on a really tiny island with it, um, and there's not much around, to be totally honest with you. Um, what we're actually going to do, is we're going to get inside, we're going to drive it down into the water, because we've got a big ramp, and we're going to take it to... Uh, we'll take it to this island to begin with, this one over here. I think it's a hospital one. Uh, and then we might end up taking it all the way over to that one, which looks bigger. So, maybe we'll go over there. I'm not sure. I don't think we can get onto this island because it's too steep. There's just cliffs. Um, but yeah. So, let's go ahead and get inside. See if we can get it working. And then get going. <laughs> Okay, so, the, the way in is in this thing? Is it a lift? What in the world? Dude, this is weird. <laughs> that's really strange. That is really, really weird. Uh, right, okay, so that's the way you get in. Beautiful. Uh, we got a handbrake. We got connectors. Wait, what's this for? What is that for? Oh, we got connectors underneath. That's interesting. I don't know why you would use that, but... That's cool. Um, water cannon mode. So we can control the water cannon if we want to. Awesome. We don't want to do that. Um, and Oh, I didn't press anything. But um, we should be able to just go. Yes. Alright. Okay. Dude, it leans into the into the turns too. That's super weird and cool. Alright, here we go. I don't know whether we have to do anything special to get into water mode. But there we go. We're in the water. And we're off. Oh, my. Dude, this is insane. Oh, wow. Okay, right. So, this is the hood. Uh, we got data right here, which shows us our speed, our engine RPS, and our charge, which is, I guess, our battery charge. If we go into here, we've got our fuel. So, this is how much fuel we've got. Um, this is how much we're using. Uh, and this is how far we've got to go. This is um, a water tank. Okay. Um... Living and cargo, okay, zero in both of those, and then a map, which looks like hap, but that's fine. All right, put data on, that's fine, and uh, we'll keep going. Which island did we want to go to? Oh my, that one, <laughs> that one, we were driving past it already. Okay, so let's go ahead and get onto the beach, and then um, we'll wait a second, and we'll have a little look around inside of this thing, uh, and then I think we'll do a mission, because it seems like a good vehicle to do missions with. Although we do seem to dive down quite a bit. Which is a little strange, but... But there you go. Alright, turn it, please. Keep turning. It seems like it's stuck between water mode and, and tank mode. Alright, come on. Come on. Push. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Dude, it's so rugged. That's cool. That's really cool. I thought there was a beach here. Oh, we can't go over those. Let's not go over the rocks. We'll park on this beach here and turn the handbrake on, and we'll wait a second. So, here we go. Pop it right here. It's so, so touchy. Uh, right, handbrake is on. Beautiful. And can we get into the passenger compartment? We can. Okay, so, back here we've got water intake. We've also got turn off all systems and engine on and off. Alright, just in case you wanted to park, I guess. Um, the door opens that way, which is a tiny bit annoying. So, we're going to run around here, run through here, into this place. Where we've got beds. Um, we've got a toggle button right there. Is that for that? That's for that little light. Okay, interesting. Uh, we got a button right there which opens that door. we got a computer with a map. There we go. With temperature, rain, wind, and visibility. That's that's quite cool. What's this? Toggle button? Oh, we got more lights. Dude, these lights aren't very, very bright though. Um, and then we've got this compartment on the back. Which is... Wait, platform? Oh, so it opens up that way. Okay. 180, what does that do? That one flips all the way down. And then ramp allows it that these things pop up. And then the ramp goes down. That is awesome. That is super cool. Right, okay, let's close the ramp. There we go. Good. Uh, we got a winch somewhere. Where's the winch? Where is the winch? Connect, pull winch, up, down. Oh, there it is. There's a winch right there. What does pull winch mean? What does that mean? Oh, look, it goes out. That's interesting. 
Okay, right. Let's go ahead and go up. There we go. We don't need to connect it to anything just yet, but we could probably tow the tanker. Actually, let's do the fishing boat. That seems like fun. Okay, there's a fishing boat fire behind us. I just spawned it in because I'm smart like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and put out the fire. Uh, and then we'll tow the boat because we can. So, uh, let's go. Here we go. Turn the engine on. And we'll get in the water and we'll go around the island. Because that's fine. There we go. Dude, I like that the, the main thing is completely det detached. It's actually held up by rope. That, that's so strange. But it works. It totally works. Not gonna lie, I did notice that there's a sport mode, so let's see how fast we're going. Like, 110, 120, 130, 140. We're actually going insanely fast anyway, so... 150, on 160, it's just about getting to 160. Okay, right, let's press sport mode. Let's see if it goes any faster. I don't think that did anything. Wait, cargo mode, what does that do? What does that do? Oh, does it raise itself? Oh, it totally does, right? I think. I don't know whether that's doing anything at all. I'm not sure. Oh, whoops. All right, we do have a connect head button right here, which is connecting this bit, uh, which makes more sense than it just dangling. Um, does it help with turning and stuff like that? I think the random physics of the head being detached was a bit weird, uh, but now I think it's fine. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get to the fishing boat. We're going to put it out. Can we... We can pump water into the tank, right? We've got this button back here. Water intake. What does that do? Hold on, go to tank. I think we've like I think we're already full. So maybe that that's normal. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here's a little bit of a challenge. We're going to see how it deals with waves. Oh, dude, I didn't even notice this is how it's propelling itself. It drops a water jet into the water. That's cool. That's really cool. It looks like, um, I don't know, like a frog's just having fun in the ocean. That, that's sort of the vibe I'm getting from this. Just throwing his arms in the air. Yep. The frog is having so much fun. And is really stable, which is actually really, really awesome. Um, right, okay, keep going. I think the boat might be under the water already. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on here. Right, turn the waves off because I'm not sure what's happened. It might be broken. No, the boat is definitely still on fire. Uh, right, okay. So, we're going to get very close. And we're going to stop. Alright, let's go ahead and turn on the water cannon mode. Okay, turn on the water cannon with five. It fires quite far. It does fire quite far. And if we can spray it on the, on the fire, that would be great. However... Um, doesn't appear to be, like, working too well. Very touchy. Like, it's insanely touchy. Uh, but I think... Oh, now it's working. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. Are we not close enough? We're not close enough. Alright, hold on. Turn off water cannon mode. Move forward to touch. Here we go. Is it on a gyro? No. All right, okay, there we go. We did it. Awesome. So, now we got to turn around. And, um, wait, can we turn that off? Yeah, we turned off the water cannon. Beautiful. We're going to turn around. We're going to attach on our thing, which is a magol. It's not a, um, hmm. Hmm. We're not going to be able to do this. Poss we might be able to do this. Right, okay, backwards. Uh, the problem is it, it wants to go forwards every time I press backwards. Which is a little strange. Anyway, um, let's go like this. There we go. Let's run through here. Open this one. Let's go ahead and press that button. And this button. Alright, okay, good. So, that should connect it when we reverse. Might also connect onto us, but we're going to try not, not to let that happen. When I said try not to let that happen, it's just happened. Alright, okay. So, more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But, maybe we can do it. Hold on. 
Right, okay, well, I know the way we're gonna have to do it then, so let's go back to the front, we're gonna press this, we're gonna do this. Here we go, we're gonna lower it down into the water, that's fine. Then we're gonna turn it on, okay, beautiful. Uh, and then once we've done that, we can go upstairs, which is right here, ba 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 bum Oh, whoops, we have to like jump out, that's fine, there we go, awesome, go ahead and close this. Jump down here, grab the thingamabobby, take it over to the boat. Yep, there we go. Attach it on, which it is. And then we just jump back on, and we go. Yes. That is the only way of getting in and out of this thing, uh, while it's in the water. Because you can't open the back door, it will just flood. Um, right, okay, good. Close this. Nice. Go ahead and close this. Nice. And then, slowly, start moving. Come on. We got this. We've already done the mission. We put it out, so that's good. And we can definitely... Oh, okay, I was going to say we could definitely tow, but actually, um, it's a little bit more difficult than that. <laughs> it's a tiny bit more difficult than that. The connector is still on, so we have a chance at throwing our thingy on it. Throwing the connector and attaching it. Hold on. Did it attach? No. All right, try again one more time. Hold on. Fly towards it. Turn. No, I think we're connected to ourselves. We are. All right, whatever. Fine. Let's put this thing up against a tsunami. We got wind, we got rain, we got fog, we got a tsunami inbound. We're going to go ahead and also um, spawn in a bunch of megalodons. They won't be able to catch us, but whatever. Off we go. Yes. This is awesome. Um, there's a meg over there. Okay. There's a meg on our left. There's a boat in front of us, which... Can we tip it over? Do we try? Here we go. I can't even tip it over. I'm trying. It's not working. All right, fine. What? Oh, 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 we did it. We tipped it over. All right, quick escape before anyone notices. Good. Um, oh, there's a Meg in front of us. Let's ram it. Jump over the Meg. <laughs> oh, no. Did that damage me? I think I might have been damaged by that. Oh, we're a sitting duck now. Uh... We've broken something. Oh, that's not good. What did I break? What did I break? Hold on, turn fog off, because I can't see. Did I break anything? I don't think I did. Maybe the engine's broke. Have we run out of fuel? There's so many things that could be happening. The hood is turned off. I don't think we got electricity. Power's turned off. What in the world? Oh, no. Turn on all systems. All right. Here we go. Oh, they're attacking the boat. Quick, get out of here. Did we get hit by lightning or something? We must have. We must have been hit by lightning. That's crazy. Whee! Dude, I love the way it jumps for joy. That's crazy. All right, we're landing. Landed. Good. All right, and we're getting out of here. We need to get to land before we get eaten by megalodons. So, the closest land I can see is this little thing over here. Um, and I guess we're going to attempt to use this thing to climb a, a cliff. Because that's what that island is. It's a cliff. All right, so I think we've escaped the megalodons anyway. They don't appear to be... No, they're all, like, right behind... Can you see them? There is one, like, right behind me. Um, when I say right behind me, it is following me. But not actually very close. So, um, all we gotta do is get onto the island. Now, that sounds easy. However, this island is just a rock in the middle of the ocean. So, um, I guess that's what every island is. Pretty much. Every island is pretty much just a rock in the middle of the ocean. Unless they're man-made, which, in that case, it's millions of rocks in the middle of the ocean. Right, anyway, um, do we come on from this side? I think we can. Alright, here we go. See if we can just drive up onto the island. Because if we can get up there and do a Lion King, that'd be perfect. Um, right, okay. Good. Here we go. Everybody ready? Drive up. We're on... We're on the island. The Megs have stayed away. One thing that I would say as well is when you put this thing into reverse, it seems to turn the wrong way. It still turns as if you're driving, which is strange. Anyway, um, it seems to be working completely fine. 
even though the Magol is connecting to the floor constantly behind me. Yeah. Uh, right, we're at the top. Yeah, this thing's super powerful. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. All right, well, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'll link it down below. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.